everybody and welcome back to Crafts with Louisa. Today we're continuing on our lessons for our kindergarten to grade five classes and today we're learning about the fruit of the spirit. So this is a fun lesson to learn about because it shows us lots of things that we can use in our life to be more like Jesus. But you might be wondering why we're talking about fruit when we're talking about Jesus or about the Holy Spirit. So I thought I'd give you an example. So fruit is something that grows on trees, but if a tree isn't healthy, it's not gonna produce fruit or very good fruit because something is wrong with the tree. Maybe it's not getting enough sunlight or it lives in a dry place and it needs more water. It's not getting something it needs. So just like us, we need things to have the fruit of the spirit in our life to grow healthy fruit or to show the qualities of Jesus in our life. We need to spend time with God and listen to him, to talk to him, to ask for forgiveness when we need it, and to spend time with others who love God as well so we can learn more about how to be like Jesus. So I wanted to show you something today that might be a good reminder for us. So take a look at my plants. So here I have two plants. Now one of them is my ivy and it's pretty healthy. And then I have this plant and it's looking kind of sad. I'll try to zoom in for you, but as you can see, it has some brown spots on the leaves and it's really droopy. That means something is wrong with this plant. I think I might've given it too much water or it wasn't close enough to the sun. So this plant is not healthy. It's not gonna grow new leaves because it's missing something it needs. It is not gonna show us that it's a good plant. My ivy is growing a new leaf every week I can see a new leaf I'll take a picture so you can see it even has a tiny leaf in there today that it's growing so this plant is healthy it's getting what it needs it's getting sunshine and water and air and it is a happy and healthy plant and it's showing that it's healthy because it's growing a new leaf so we can show that we're healthy or that we're connected to God by the fruit in our lives so this fruit that is talked about in the Bible is found in the book of Galatians chapter five and I'll list them out for you. So it's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So those are things or attributes or characteristics that we can show that when we are connected to God, those will be a part of our life. So those are things we can do in practical ways to show others love or kindness by helping them out to be patient with a sibling or to keep the peace maybe when you're frustrated with your parents and instead of getting upset, you just talk calmly with them. So when we have God in our lives, when Jesus lives in our heart and when the Holy Spirit helps us, we can show these things. So today I'm going to be doing a craft that will remind us of all these things that we can show in our lives. So watch this. Right, I have finished my craft today and it's this huge pear shape and inside the pear I wrote all the fruits of the spirit. So to remind us they are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control at the bottom. And these are found in Galatians chapter five and the fruit of the spirit means the evidence or the proof of God at work in our life when the spirit is at work in our hearts. So I hope this craft will be a good reminder for you that God is at work in our lives and we know that when we see these things and we can try to show these things more and more to honor God. So I hope this will be a good reminder for you. I think it's a pretty big picture. I might hang it up somewhere in my house. Hope you enjoyed this craft video today and I will see you next time.